Hey I'm Vice Rich here, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up a dual PC system with OBS and an Elgato PCIe. Uh, this might work with other Elgatos, I'm unsure though, uh, because I only use the Elgato PCIe which is installed into my PC. And you're also going to need to download the Elgato software on both systems, you're going to need it on your streaming PC and your, and your gaming PC. As well as you're going to need the virtual audio cable system which will allow you to hear your gameplay yourself and get the sound transferred into OBS on the streaming PC. Alright. So first here we have the virtual audio cable. Uh, you can download it as free trial. Uh, the only issue with that is if you try to use your uh, voice or microphone on the gaming PC, there's like a lady's voice that tells you there's, there's a free trial going on. However, I have never had that interfere with a recording or a stream. Uh, it doesn't go through the, this setup here, so you should be fine with the, the limited trial version as there's not really much limitations except for uh, the one stated here that supports no more than three cables, which is, it's fine if you don't have more than two PCs, that's like one, only one cable. You can purchase it here if you if you would like. It's, it's around $35 if you do, don't want any support USD. But anyway, so when you install the Elgato sound capture uh, stuff from Elgato, it should set your speakers to the uh, Elgato sound capture and whatnot. So that'll make it so you wanna pick for the wave in the Align Elgato sound capture because that'll be where all the audio goes and then you want to push it out of your your like whatever port your HDMI cable is plugged into so the two PCs will be interconnected with an HDMI cable that you need but uh, and that should be easy enough to get and then the the cable the, what you see right now is another HDMI cable plugged into this monitor on the out of the PCIe the setup is extremely simple i found out you don't need any like audio cables plugged in from one computer to the other you just need the hdmi cable connecting the two computers with the elgato pcie so once you've done and installed all the software it should just this should just take over your system and put most of the sounds towards it uh, and then you want it out on the elgato nvidia high definition that's the one i use that's the one that is working for me it might be different for you this is just what's connect where it's connected in in my graphics card right now. Uh, the default but so this this is the buff the buffer. This will say how long it takes before it sends the audio from your gaming PC to your streaming PC. I might set to 100 because the default is 500, and the lower you go, the more likely you are to get sound breaking so your sound will just like start being distorted and whatnot so 100 i found is safe you get a couple of breaks here and there which are not bad at all like it's very uncommon it's normally common when you just start up the program and it's not and then if you're not using it for voice or anything it's very unlikely that you get any sound breaks although if you need it to go higher 150 is fine i use 100 this is more of a personal preference just because 500 felt like it was too delayed for me so that's a little bit of personal preference. And then I left everything else to its default configuration. And then once you have this all set up, you just hit start. And then you have to go into OBS and set up a little bit of things. So we're gonna go over there and I'll show you what to do then. All right, so here we are in OBS. As you can see, there's a huge mirror. So what you do is with the Elgato, if you've just installed the Elgato, you're gonna wanna add a video capture device. I have an already existing one, but you're gonna want to create a new one. And when you do that, um, it should just show up with this, and you can pick it from here. You want one of the game captures, the videos with either number one or two. I have two because one's for a DSLR camera, the other one's for just the uh, the connection of the streaming PC to the gaming PC. This one, uh, I believe, doesn't do anything. You don't want to pick it; it just won't work. So you want to pick one or two, or well, one if you only have one. So, and then that'll show up here. Uh, let me get rid of this here because I already have it set up here. This should, this is the one that I use. The properties are all default for me because I configure them in the actual software. But uh, what I have it configured as is, is 1080p at 60 FPS, and then you want the audio output to be capture only mode, capture audio only. Uh, you don't really need to mess with this. Just make sure this is set to here. If, if it's not. That it might it should be default and then the only other thing you really need to do is once it's set up here it should appear here uh, you have your advanced audio properties you should go there 
and on audio monitoring you want it to monitor and output because if you have it on monitor you won't be able to hear it but the stream will if you have it monitor and output you should be able to hear it and if this isn't the case uh there is a couple of extra settings in here where your audio settings might be set wrong i've had this set so if you set this yourself to something that isn't default because elgato should take over your entire sound systems so i'm going to go through that after this but i set this to default because if i mess with it it messed with my audio so once and i couldn't hear anything so i realized that it needs to be set to default because elgato takes it over and then all right so when you're in the sound capture of elgato elgato sound captures settings here what i have is um this appears unmuted because of my discord settings uh, i muted it before this uh it should appear unmuted and if it's not unmuted yours might be different this is what mine is i haven't installed any external software in here i do not have um audio repeater or or i do have audio repeater and virtual audio cable on here but i don't use them they're not being run or anything in the background as you can see here everything doesn't need to be set up on this pc it should all it should all be going through obs because if you try to set it up there, OBS might pick up double sounds if you have your desktop audio because it, it comes up as some other source of audio and that can cause conflicts and issues. Uh, so I don't have it set up for anything. Uh, line one, I don't believe, remember what that was. But uh, once that's all set up, the audio should be coming through and we can go in and test it. I'll go back to the other PC and start something up. Uh, but I'll show you both the screens at the same time. So we'll put this one in the top left corner for you All right, as you can see here, we have the whole thing set up now uh, What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into my library and as you can see in, in the top left here on the other Computer in the Elgato it's coming through here. Uh, you also have your desktop audio so you can have your friends talking and uh, whatnot. So Elgato will measure all your game audio and any audio coming from the game PC. You can change your desktop audio for, I use the, the streaming PC to talk to my friends and stuff. So their audio is completely separate from the game. And then audio input captures myself. So there's three different levels of audio modifications here and you can edit them accordingly. I try to keep myself um, in between the green and the yellow. I try to keep my friends around negative 20 to negative 15. And then if I am playing audio, like music on my other computer, I try to keep that between negative 40 and negative 35. Uh, the Elgato also, I just I keep it around negative 30 because otherwise the game gets too loud. Because if you max this out, it maxes out that game audio. So we're gonna go ahead and stop that. Uh, but that should be how you set up the the um, a dual PC system. I can take, I can like, there's not much outside of externally. You just want to install the Elgato PCIe. Make sure that you have HDMI connections to both computers. There's no other connections other than the HDMI one that I'm currently using. So that's all I currently have. That's my setup. And then it, sh it, it works for me at least. If you have any questions or issues, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to my best to help you. This is the way I found out it works the best. I And I can't find any other ways that seemingly work. I've seen other people explain it with a cable. I haven't had that work for me. It doesn't work for me. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully this worked. If it does, be sure to check me out some other, check out any other content I might have. Uh, I should be coming out with a whole stream setup, like how to set up a stream, stream elements, how you should have your bit rates and everything at some point. So I hope to see you later. I hope you come by the stream sometime at Vice Race Hero uh, on Twitch. Hopefully I'll see you sometime there. And otherwise, uh, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time.